Hey, this is kind of what I'm after here, is uh, kind of the ship in the bottle kind of thing where you put the uh, whole project in some kind of a, a bottle or a jar and you set it on a shelf and you just watch it for months on end or, or even years if you did it right. But uh, this is kind of what, what I had in mind was something that was... Uh, contained inside a container that you didn't have to mess with you just um, watched it uh, do its thing there's actually a light going off there too you can see it you know if, if you had something like this even if I had to put a couple of double uh, A AA or triple A batteries in that thing uh, to get the milliamp per hour uh, up there to the uh, at least six months to a year, I wouldn't mind uh, changing the batteries on that just to have something that was sitting on a shelf that uh, you know was on my shelf here that was something to look at that um, kind of was an example of what I learned over the the last seven years on these projects and. Um, Anyway, just something I wanted to share with you that uh, this is, was kind of my dream going way back was to have a, a simulated self-runner. There is no such thing as a perpetual motion machine that you can build on your kitchen table and then it runs for eternity. But you can do something like that that uh, runs for uh, months or even years on end um, that you can look at while you're alive. You know, you only live a hundred years or maybe a whole lot less. Why not just build something that's going on while you're alive? And that you can say, well, look at that thing. That thing's running. <laughs> anyway, uh, I could put solar um, cells on that, on the outside of that bottle. It's just a plastic nut jar that I put that thing inside. And what I think I would do is I'd put those uh, drying crystals inside that to keep the moisture out of it so that there was no moisture content in it and uh, so it wouldn't uh, suffer from corrosion and I don't think it's going to be attacked by ultraviolet because it's far enough away from the window here but then again if you had solar cells you'd have to have the solar cells where they'd pick up the uh, the light but anyway that's just my uh, latest update on this um, microwave pulse motor and uh, these are some of the ones that uh, I'm, I'm having outside to look at to see what they go now this was something that uh, is more like that Theodore Pauly and the other gentleman's um, idea of having a slow moving rotor that uh, moved a lot slower and that's another way to do this is to use a slow moving rotor but uh, that right there is really what I've, I've been looking for for a long time was something that looked like it was a self runner and uh, Anyway, I just wanted to update you on, on where I was with this uh, little pulse motor. Thanks.